Oh my god! Surprise, you guys! We're playing Final Fantasy X! Oh, nobody knew it. It was such a surprise. I know. I love how many times, though, you seem to be convinced it was a surprise. Because I'm pretty sure you wanted to make that announcement like four times. Well, I wasn't sure if anybody was paying attention. It's fine. Alright, you know how excited you were, Fasco, to play uh, Eternal Sonata? Yes. I am that excited to play this game. I do, you know, I'm definitely excited to play this game, but I am, I'm strongly under the impression that you are more excited to play. I'm very excited to play this very game. Very excited to play And it. I am playing first, which means I will get to do absolutely nothing this episode. It's true. And then when I play later, I will probably stay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's a bunch of options here. We're not going to ignore all the emergencies. We'll take this. Here we go. Okay. Maybe you should let me do the talking. Everything's fine. Um, we haven't actually considered what to name our protagonist oh or the summons we have more time for the summons yeah we we'll have to think about the summons what should we call the protagonist he does he have a name i mean i know he's never called anything in the game right his his like base name is i believe it's pronounced titus but uh in the u.s all us oh, titus. called him titus oh i forgot about that what should we call him? How do you forget? He, this is his story, okay? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Oh, 2002. What a good year. Pro probably not for wine. I don't know, is it? You would know. I, mean, I don't know. It's a while ago. It's time is good. Um, <laughs> I got really into this game because of Electronic Gaming Monthly. I, I So we were out on a family vacation uh -huh. in Ocean City. Uh -huh. And we stopped at a store. At a game store or something and i saw this article about this game on the cover and i was like hmm, that looks really cool and so i bought a gaming magazine for the first time and it was this game that caused me to subscribe wow, looks great to get it's, it's the hd remaster it's literally supposed to look great yeah uh it inspired Whoa, me spoiler to spoiler alert game because it's because like we because it's a know circular these ending yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway. Just like Eternal Sonata, the <laughs> parallels between these JRPGs never cease! Nope. Uh, anyway, so I, I subscribed to Electronic Gaming Monthly, which was exciting, and I had them for a long time. Did you that. love them a long time? I did love them a long time, I read them all and enjoyed them, and... Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is one of the games that I played. There's a point... My dad is really into technology right and he has done some crazy things like way before people generally knew to figure them out i remember for some of the my, my family used to make like annual road trips down to florida to do disney world which is the greatest thing that right. could possibly ever and eventually he figured out a way to run a playstation 2 off the van battery oh man so I'm pretty sure this was one of the games that I played on at least one of those road trips. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. It looks great. It looks way better than it used it to. It looks way better. I remember the, uh... The... I can't count all the polygons in his eye, let alone face. The thing that bothered me most was the fact that the... The, the blitz balls would always... They always they have these little bubbles on them, right? They do. And they always look like triangles sticking off of the ball in, in this in these graphics. But when they go to the, like, the super high graphics, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, and yeah. I hated that. And that is not the case anymore. All right. So that was the short story known as Final Fantasy X. <laughs> uh, a little light on the dialogue. It even has a little HD remaster thing. Blasphemy. It didn't belong there originally. Nope. Hironobu Sakaguchi. Heh, <laughs> Gucci. <laughs> Alright. What you got against purses? New game. Select it. Oh. Oh. I don't... I'm let's not just equipped do to answer this. Yeah, let's do standard. At some point I'm gonna research the best sphere grid situation, but not yet. Uh, you cannot switch grids... I wish they would give us, like, some information. Sure. Do you, do you want to look at it now? It's too late. It's too late! It's too late! Oh, man. You know, I did do a count through all of Eternal Sonata. How many did we hit? I haven't finished tagging them yet. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> People will know in the future. Look at the ball. It's not... I, I always loved his fucking sword, the water sword. Mm -hmm. That he, like, gets rid of, like, instantly. Yeah, the water sword is really gorgeous. 
it's it looks like even better in HD, but yeah, like it just it looks cool. It looks like those um, those like HD like digital paintings. Yeah. So did we let the start screen like loop or some shit? Like why are we deja vuing this? Um, there's gonna be dialogue here. There's gonna be voiceover. Um, but the the start screen with the credits uses the same the same media. It'll say something at some point. Mm-hmm. Wait for it. Sure, I totally, but I totally believe you. Wait for it. I totally believe you. <laughs> uh huh. You know what I realized? That no one's talking. Actually, no. I take it back. I was gonna say none of the women in this game, the like main characters, are like super sexy, but but Riku is exactly. Well, I mean, she's like. That's her design, though. She's not super, she's not like overly sexualized. She's kind of like little girl. She, she just has short is. shorts. No, she completely is. Really? She, she's like sexualized to a demographic, but it's completely absurd. Well, I was going to say Lulu because like boobs. Well, boobs. Because yeah. like super boobs. Because like all the boobs forever. Boobs. And, and Yuna is just the spokeswoman for like anti-feminism. Yeah. Because she's like completely. She's like depressed. soft-spoken and like weak-willed yeah. and. Here it comes. Listen to my story. Nah. Let's meet this the whole game. Maybe our last chance. Our commentary is way more interesting than this game. Give the people what they want. <laughs> yeah, I know. All these get people rid of have been all the cutscenes. To get rid of all the volume for all the cutscenes, because nobody wants to listen to that. They just want to hear more of us. Obviously. So, clearly clearly that's... we we hear the people, we understand the people. I'll do it in it. We are people of the people. Mm-hmm. That, that's true. That is a true fact. I would like to point out, nothing's happened. Nope, seven minutes in. Um, you had some complaints about Eternal Sonata? Um, so far, <laughs> noticing a trend. We, we did not pick uh, a good replacement in that in that sense. Or we did, if, you, if that's what we were looking for. Oh yeah. I love the, oh. like, generic, like, quasi-neon text that's like, Look, we are in future past Tutherland! The, uh, there, there is a script in this game that translates directly from letter to, uh, letter to English. You mean the like, Elbed thing? Yeah. And it, uh, no, not Elbed. The actual, like, writing in this game that you see on all the shit. Yeah. Uh, does translate directly to English. From what? from it they just made it so yeah they just like made up a script that replaces every letter with a different symbol is there and something on the boat search the boat for items how do i is it x that does probably things? x no there's nothing you can't because we wouldn't take it forward with no us anyway. search it no this is just search like, it real good why would you skip it <laughs> look how good that ball looks oh here we go well we ran out of time on that decision quick make a decision you have the controller, bro. Ah. Uh, the entire fate and responsibility of this whole Let's Play rests on your shoulders at this very moment. You could just call him Titus and be done with it. No, you can't. I can't. I'm That's not the one stipulation. You I... absolutely cannot call him that. All right, I will not call him Titus. Because it's super fucking boring, well, and I'll punch you in the arm. Well, let's say, let's see. What, punch what, you really hard. What are in the, the arm? characteristics of Titus? Um. He's he's a whiny, child. Self-obsessed. Whiny. Uh, um, he's got poofy hair. He's, he's like, androgynous Japanese character. Uh-huh. Uh, only one pant leg, as I recall. I believe that's correct. Mm. Uh, likes balls. His name is Pant Leg. Clearly. Oops. Good spells. Pant... Pantano. Pantano. <laughs> pant Leg. That's how it's pronounced, in case you're curious. Pantlug? Pantlug. Done. Confirm. Prosed. Alrighty. Do you think they don't say his name for a reason other than the fact that you, like, can choose a name for him? No, I, I believe that is the reason why that is. Alright. I mean, they could have written the story in such a way that it's meant to be, like, a profound something or other. <laughs> Not on the ball! I just happen to be holding it! Tee hee! <laughs> Well, I'm glad that they they fixed the uh, 
the lip sync. Did you see that? Yeah, it's real good. <laughs> good luck tonight. Mouth not moving at all. Then suddenly, wah 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 wah. It for you, okay? <laughs> it's an interesting these? concept, this game. But the whole the underwater breathing thing. Got it. She's covering her face with the ball so they don't have to lose. <laughs> Good solution. <laughs> well, gotta go. Cheer for me. Two, three. She just had a blitz. No, I gotta go. What? Yeah. I just said I gotta <laughs> Literally, go. Literally, I feel like I could not have been much clearer like, about this. Saying it together is not gonna solve the problem. In Japan, it would. So, is this ball script what you were talking about? If so, what do the balls say? Uh, blitz ball. Is that actually? Yeah, that says ball. The, the letters are really just like weird, loopy versions of English characters. Some of them are are out there, but most of them, like L's, just look like L's. But what do the snozberries taste like? Snozberries. Uh, yeah, I know it's a it's a pretty big departure from from the norm. It's true. Yeah. I always wanted to live in this city. It looks really sweet. It looks very sunset. Yep. But also night. Also, like, mid-ass night. Yeah, it kind of doesn't... I don't understand how it works that way. But whatever. It's also crazy that there are this many stars in the sky. It's actually like, um... In the in the Mistcraft mod for Minecraft... Uh-huh. You can set... I think you can set, like... I want to say it's called, like, fog or something. There's some characteristic that you can set, so basically the horizon will be one color, but the sky can be something else. That's cool. away from home when I heard the news. Oh, right. Uh, Ugh. Jet, gone. Banished into thin air. That's what we're in talking. My dad must have been his biggest fan. But I knew I did, was why did they have coffee? We all were that <laughs> what year is this? <laughs> so I says to myself, That's such like a strange... Cause you could have made that like anything. I went running straight back home. We it's sat up talking about Jack all night. So you can listen to that for like an hour if you want to. Why didn't we do that then? Because good lord. Make way, make way. Oh god. Oh oh god, I'm being raped. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Win the mini game. Punch them all. I'm gonna be late. I did it. There's no There's no one in front of you. There we go. Where is the security? I think it's that big shimmering blue thing. I think that does something. <laughs> it, Here we go. It does Functions. I saw this cutscene and, and like pooped myself and wanted this game so bad. When did you see it? I think they released it before the game came out. I'm pretty sure they did. Yeah. But when did you see it? Before the game came out. That's super vague. In 2002 at some point. Apparently. I have one of these, by the way. You do? Yeah. Why don't you ever use it? Uh, because my roommate's a dick. Oh. Yeah. That explains it. Yeah. Yay! Oh yeah! This game is really sweet. Of course, that's not imagine how water if, works. Imagine if, like, they made a uh, visual novel game with, like, these kind of graphics. Oh my god, the fucking death metal. Yeah! Yeah! Like <laughs> Uh, but, like, imagine if we had, like, these really, like, grandiose, like, epic cutscenes, and then, like, the gameplay was basically just, like, two dialogue options every, like, hour or so. Because <laughs> that's how most of those go. So, do you think it's just regular water that they can breathe for no reason, or do you think... Do you think it's special, breathable water? What makes you think that just because they look like humans are biologically identical? Maybe they're amphibihumans. Uh, uh, that's my question. No, your question was about the water, with the presupposition that they were that they were confined to human conditions. Okay, so do you think that they? I think they're frog people. All right, great. <laughs> it's problem solved. Occam's razor. Look <laughs> <laughs> at the fucking scoreboard. It's just like Vegas. It's just like colors and light. Yeah, man. This game is really sweet. If you could breathe underwater, would you want to play Blitzball? Uh, I wouldn't want to... No. No, I would not. Why not? Well, I don't like swimming, for one. Um, I feel like like a game based on prolonged exposure to underwater would make me extremely uncomfortable. What? Why would it do that? The, the first thing I said. Ah. But you love water. No. no. The, the first thing I said. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. 
Got it. Yeah. Th this is why I would very readily eat a devil's fruit in one piece, because to me, it's like a, a zero loss trade off. Yeah, not being able to swim isn't such a big deal. No, even if I got like the worst superpower. Even if you lived in a water world like they do. What, like like one piece? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But like it's dangerous. Yeah, Cause I like, understand that. You're like on but the superpowers. Cruise. Yeah, superpowers. That's the whole. Th like if you want it. You, you won't make it anywhere as a pirate if you don't have superpowers and drown easily. That's true. That's very true. Just look at Usopp. Exactly. Didn't He's make... too negative. Hey, look. Hey, that guy likes death metal. I was waiting for What are you talking about? That is like a dramatic overreaction to his response. <laughs> what are you? Which is what like... the fuck is wrong? With that, you? that should have been the name of. Titus. <laughs> Dramatic overreaction. <laughs> well, you know what they say. What do they say? It's too late! <laughs> it, is, it is too late. Where'd Orn go? He's that small child now. Hey, what up, Amut? How you doing? Alright. That thing. Yep. Spoilers. Yeah, kind of. It begins. Okay. And you want to tell me that this story is, like, more coherent than Eternal Sonata? I remember it making sense by the end. I don't know. They take a lot of dramatic liberties with some of this shit, especially, like, establishing early on. Yeah, I mean, the game makes absolutely no sense for a long time. But, like, I feel like by the end it makes sense. <laughs> Pant look. <laughs> that makes me really happy. Hey, wait! He's just standing there! It's yeah, time for battle! that's why he needs to wait! It's time for battle, Vasco! I don't remember how to play this game. Look, just press X and highlight the correct killing them command. Great, because that's all you can do at the beginning. Oh, snap! I mean, if you're playing with Auron, that's really all you need to do. <laughs> that and level him up appropriately. Oh, snap! Man, what I wouldn't give to play Blitzball in that! <laughs> in the giant water monster creature? Yeah, that's also what he said at the bar when he saw her. Mm. Damn! Mm -hmm. What I wouldn't give to play Blitzball is <laughs> that! And she was like, uh uh. She was definitely like that. Yep. Yep. Pretty much. Why didn't they just make a few more of these? Like, some of these scenes are good graphics and some of them are bad graphics. Like, why not make them all good graphics? Is it really. Uh, were they really that starved for memory? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Have you ever HD remastered a video game from 2002? No, they were. it was always like this. Like, the... Yeah, but, like... I mean, I figured your point was, why didn't they correct it now? No, Back that... then, I'm sure it was a memory issue. Yeah. I'm always impressed that they managed to fit games of this size on regular DVDs. Well, exactly. That's why it was definitely a memory issue. Although, I always found it strange that they would have that they would make the extra effort on those cutscenes because then it highlights how shitty everything else is. Yeah. You sort of tune it out if you don't have something to compare it against. Yeah, it's true. Well, I think this was the first time they were able to do graphics that good and they wanted to do it. Well, no, but they did stuff like the, the same concept on the PlayStation 1. Attack. Got you. Not very durable. Should That's use, what she said. Should I use the skill? I'll use power break. It's probably overkill. Actually, no, it's probably not literally overkill, because that's a thing. Yeah, it is a thing. Oh, man. It's so nice to be able to read and see everything, like, re very clearly. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, images are things. What are you talking about? I think we're going to have to face these guys next time. Going after all of them. Cut the ones that matter. See you then. Why don't you skip that dialogue? No one will understand what's happening in the next episode. Oh, no. Bye.